New this morning, next Friday is National Hot and Spicy Day and we're celebrating with some food. Here to talk about different spices and their health benefits is dietitian Adrian Ramo. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you for having me. All right, so we do know some spices add some health benefits to you. So let's go over some of the ones that are healthier. So just a little little bit added to your food will make you a little bit healthier. So let's, let's, yeah. let's go down the line. Here we go. Okay. Well, first of all, I think adding a lot of herbs and spices can be really helpful because it adds flavor without extra salt, fat, and oil. Right. Plus, the, the peppers boost your thermogenic capacity, which is the rate at which we burn calories. Mm -hmm. So it revs up our metabolisms. Now, one thing that I love to do is make Indian, Thai, and Mexican food at home. But mm -hmm. when that's not possible, I feel like tandoori chef, tandoor chef is a really good option because it's convenient and high quality. Mm -hmm. Plus, they have some gluten-free, vegan, and vegetarian options. Mm. Now, another thing, and I brought some so you guys can all try some guacamole. That smells so good. It smells it's so our, fresh and delicious. It's our classic bowl of spicy guacamole. Uh -huh. So there's some avocado, which has not only healthy fats, but potassium and fiber. Mm -hmm. Red onion, cilantro, our wonderful jalapeno pepper, as you'll see down here. Mm -hmm. And then another thing that I like to do is have a side dish, mm -hmm. roasted cauliflower. You put some um, chopped up some garlic in there, some turmeric, which is known for anti-inflammatory benefits, and also ginger. Mm. Now, you can use this in a lot of different cooking. I like to juice it mm. along with some orange and some carrot in the mornings, and possibly my favorite is down here. Mm -hmm. Cayenne pepper works really well with some dark chocolate ice cream. Oh, that's and a good idea. <laughs> another tip, and I know that we're not in winter yet, but putting a little bit of cayenne in your socks mm -hmm. and then putting them on when you go out in the winter helps heat you up. Really? Mm -hmm. Some cayenne pepper sprinkled in your socks. Yeah. <laughs> that is a very interesting idea. I'm going to try it because when we're out covering those snow emergencies in the wintertime, my feet always get cold. So I'm going to try this guy. I'm going to tell right. you if it works or not. All right. Be wonderful. And um, I wanted to ask, is the ginger that comes in the, in the can, is that just as good for you as that or is it a little different? Um, I think that this fresh is always best. Fresh is always better, yeah. right? And if you can, just grate it, perhaps. Mm -hmm. um, I like to also use um, coconut milk where I'll put in some turmeric, mm -hmm. um, some black pepper and some chopped up ginger. Okay. And it's pretty warming, kind mm -hmm. of spicy. A good thing in the morning though, when you want to kind of wake up, but not with coffee. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> with a little bit of spice. So eating spicy food boosts the metabolism, right? Yes. That's the takeaway. All right, go out and get yourself some hot and spicy food, right? Grab yourself a, sp a hot person, a hot date, make some spicy food, and celebrate National Hot and Spicy Day. I like it. <laughs>